and welcome to my sketchbook tour. So I'm very excited to show you this. This is a sketchbook that I finished just before lockdown, like literally I think a month or so before. So I haven't looked in this since I started it. So it'll be exciting to go through it with you guys and see, see what's happening. I've got some stuff stuck in there. So let's just push that back in. There we go. <laughs> Cool, let's get into it. Ooh. Okay, so first up, I had no idea what to do with this page. So this is a postcard that I made a year ago. Um, and these are some stickers as well that I designed that are also on the front of here. So I just thought I'd like put some little stickers and uh, work that I've done and made and finished at the beginning of the sketchbook, almost as like a little bit of inspiration. Okay, so this page, again, it's one of those scary things where you're on the first page of your sketchbook and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so this, I really, really like the concept of. It was like a little snake, the girl sitting on the tail and like showing a little picture that she'd done of the snake. And you'll see in a minute, I did a bigger painting of her because I really like that idea. I think that would make like a really cute picture book idea like a child that's super fearless or something like that. This is a little frog on a leaf. <laughs> I think that's pretty sweet and I've just done some faces. I've done the solar system and a lady. I don't know who. I guess she looks a little bit Greek I suppose. Um, I was probably watching Hercules at the time so that's probably where like the big sort of goddess style hair has come in and this long neck. But definitely my way of drawing people has changed slightly and you'll see that throughout the sketchbook. Okay, so I don't like how this has come out, but I think it was important to me, for me to have tried. Um, so this is using gouache and I don't know whether it's this type of sketchbook. I don't know whether it's um, just that I'm not very good with blending gouache or whether the actual gouache just isn't very good. But every time I use this gouache, it tends to go super, super muddy. And then whenever I try and overlay other colors like you're supposed to do with gouache, it just becomes like very, very murky. And I have to go back in with much brighter colors, but it, it just looks quite, quite dead really like this I think everything blends in way too much on the camera it's showing up way more contrast but actually in real life everything sort of is is uh, a one tone so ideally I would have this way brighter <laughs> but as you can see with these these started out way lighter and then as they dry they just got far darker which normally happens with paints but especially with these ones. So this was trying this concept here with her. I'm not a big fan of her face either. I changed her face so many times, I can't even tell you, but I was quite happy with doing this because I think it was like a good exercise to do in my sketchbook. I don't do a lot of painting and whenever I do do painting, I enjoy the process. So that's the point of the sketchbook, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, moving on, I came up with a little bit of an idea for like a really cross hill um, that would just one day decide to get up and move. <laughs> but my thought was that this hill could be like a huge part of someone's village or like be a key part um, of the housing of a village. So basically it's like once the hill goes, their house has to go with it. So this says, the day the hill moved. <laughs> um, and I go on, so this is like a little cabin in the woods, nothing to do with that really, but I suppose like the wood nature goes. And then this was me trying out little, uh, I quite like to do tests with pro markers. And then this was with fine liners and pencils and trying like a dot version of it and a lined version. You get the idea, this is me just playing. Um, but I quite like how busy this page is. I think I really like it when I have quite busy sketchbook pages, like 
I remember doing this while watching a film one day um, and I did this another day and I did this another day so it's all kind of like a big combination of different times that I've used the sketchbook but all in one place which I think is really lovely so if I uh, go to the next page now so this is a drawing that I did from an old sketchbook but the sketchbook had loads of blank pages in it and I only had a few drawings in there so I chopped her out and stuck her in here this was for a little collaboration um, for my friend James who was doing a project um, I don't know whether anything actually happened with it but he asked me to draw um, the word CO and what I thought I think it was collaboration um, or cooperation I can't remember the exact word but what I imagined CO to be in terms of art and collaboration so I drew like lots of little, little people communicating in a line or not a line in like a CO form you know what I mean you're seeing it on the screen and these are the hills that I was talking about earlier so I tried to sort of do different styles of an angry hill like standing up and getting a bit cross so I really I really like these they're really fun like look at the eyes of this one this one is tormented but I just thought that would be a fun idea and this is just using pro markers and fine liners which is what kind of the medium my go-to I'd say so this is when I was thinking about doing some like motivational quotes or something as stickers or postcards like do a little postcard pack so I noted down a shed ton of motivational quotes that have helped me or I think are inspiring so that's just that I might revisit that actually that's quite quite a nice idea and then these are just some dogs I was looking at dogs on Pinterest <laughs> as you do one evening and then thought I'd have a little draw so it's obviously a, a pug um, a dachshund and a dalmatian I really like the way that these have turned out and originally I didn't put these blocks behind them but I kind of wanted there to be a little bit of a pop so I then put these sort of coloured blocks behind to make the page a little bit more interesting and I'm quite happy I did I think it adds something to it definitely I tend to write all of my notes on little post-its uh, pieces of paper anything I can get my hands on really and then I tend to get rid of those post-its and pieces of paper that I've like had on my desk wall for a long time so I thought that it would be good to actually just stick them in <laughs> to my sketchbook because a lot of the time they're sort of part of the process of a piece for me or something like that so these are again talking about motivational postcard packs um, some other ideas bits and pieces so and then here I was trying to come up with an idea that I never actually did so I should probably revisit this but it was coming up with an idea for a composition for an Incredibles picture so I really like these actually there's some fun ones with Edna Mode and her house so I love the concept art of Edna Mode's house if you haven't seen it in the art book definitely take a look because oh my goodness she has like cool fountains and amazing like huge heads um, that are really geometric and cool and yeah they have like waterfalls coming down it's so cool her house is amazing so it'd be fun to do something with her and like her cool house but you may recognize this one actually so this is my Voldemort piece or Voldy piece I'm calling it so it's not exactly obvious that it's Voldemort so I wanted to do these Harry Potter characters in more of a playful way in sort of like I suppose a children's illustration style so this was me trying to work out the composition of the Voldemort piece and actually this is very very close to the final thing I'll put the final thing on the screen for you guys if you haven't seen it already but yeah I wanted it to be just far more cutesy I suppose but without being kawaii <laughs> still being in my style so this was me just playing with different ideas this is one for Hermione with like 
lots of papers and books around her and then Crookshanks at the bottom. I think that could be quite fun to do. And uh, Bellatrix the Strange as well, with a really janky arm, but there we go. So I like to use both pages in my sketchbook. Um, I don't like to leave blank pages if I can. So any bleed through, I tend to just draw on top of. So here I was watching Good Omens, as you can see. So I thought I'd have a draw. So anyway, I was watching that and then I had a little doodle of these, quite fun. And then I've just got some leaves here. I've got a lady with a lemur on her head. I don't, I don't really know why. And then next up we have more Incredibles drawings. <laughs> So as you can see, this is me just like drawing on another piece of paper and then I've stuck it in. So this is Mr. Incredible holding up Jack-Jack. I think that's pretty cute. And then these are some close-ups of Jack-Jack, which also would be quite cute. I definitely need to do an Incredibles picture. That's definitely gonna be something that goes on my list, I think. So I'm very lucky. Um, by my work, I am really close to the National Portrait Gallery. So I go there fairly often, um, obviously not at the moment because it's locked down, but I used to go there during lunch break sometimes just for a little bit of peace and quiet and just to kind of be alone with my thoughts and paintings. So this was a lady that I took a photo of and then really quickly sketched when I got back and then went in in the evening with pro markers. I hate the shadow, ignore the shadow. But actually I think um, this has captured her quite well and I like that I haven't just used black and white and I've sort of added additional colours. So yeah, this isn't the best piece but it isn't the worst. I like her hair, look at her hair, that's quite fun. And like the little peak of the glasses, that's quite nice. Oh, I just spoke about blank pages and there's a blank page! <laughs> Such a hypocrite, anyway. So this was me playing with, um, and I've done this in several sketchbooks before, I'm still kind of working out that style I suppose, but basically I love to draw patterns in particular shapes and make those the clothes. So you can't necessarily see the body shape, you just get this huge pattern. And I've done a few versions digitally of this look and I still wanna develop it and play with it and kind of push the concept a bit more but this was me playing in my sketchbook so and then on the other side <laughs> I've done like kind of another style um, this sort of reminds me of Song of the Sea in terms of that style but yeah this was me just playing with the reverse the bleed through shall we say I hate the typography so ignore it but this was me playing with the motivational quotes idea again so I thought it'd be cute to have like a little tortoise um, walking along, smiling, being like, good things come to those who wait. So this was just a little idea, a little concept. And I really like this guy up here and there's a little balloon that's almost, he's walking towards or waiting for, which is quite nice. Okay, so this is the same concept, like it's following on from that. So I was thinking that I could call the postcard pack um, creation, motivation, which is quite cool. And then I've got um, lots of other ideas. So on the postcards, I've got like what the postcard pack could look like. What's under here? I don't know. Okay, nothing that interesting. So yeah, it says good things come to those who wait, animals to potentially include, and then I've got different animals. Um, like I said, I love to just work things out in sketchbooks and on post-its and that kind of thing. So here I drew some art supplies with arms, <laughs> just walking along I guess. I guess they could be like pen, pen supports or pen pals or something, I don't know, something sweet. Um, creative support you could call that. Anyway. And this was me playing with the pattern idea that I was talking about earlier and this is also a bit of a brain dump. So. I don't know what's going on there, don't ask me. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is me just playing, literally playing. I don't think there's any sort of rhyme or reason here. I really like this girl up here and this guy holding plant. I think that might be Jack, not entirely sure. Um, don't know who that is, but she's very cute. Pigeons! So, <laughs> 
Uh, I sometimes get fixated on drawing something in particular and apparently this day it was pigeons. So um, I really like this, this drawing here. I think there's something quite subtle about it and uh, it's not necessarily in my style. It's like going more towards realism, which is fun. So that's that's pretty cool. And then I like I like the composition of this page actually. There's something really nice about it. Except it looks like that pigeon's being stepped on. So <laughs> uh, and then you can probably see through the bleed through. But this is Mr. and Mr. Incredible. So I absolutely love the Incredibles, and I'm constantly listening to the score while I'm working, just because I think it's like a really motivational score. I love I love sort of the jazzy tones of it. So I decided to draw Mr. Incredible and Mrs. Incredible and this was using pro markers and then going in with Prismacolor pencils and there's something really charming about these like I'm really happy with the way that these have turned out and uh, yeah just super happy with these drawings. So this is a little girl that I drew kind of intended for a picture book I suppose but I didn't exactly know where she would fit. Um, but I just thought she was super super cute. I started drawing this one first and then sort of developed her. But she hasn't gone any further than that, but I think I think there's something really sweet about her, there's something fun. This is a witch. <laughs> so she's actually cut out. Um, you can't see, but I've stuck her on and then I've sort of drawn around her, which is nice. And then these, yeah, these are the stickers that I was telling you about that are on the front. Woohoo! So actually quite a lot of these are very similar to the final things. I kind of was pretty happy with the sketches of most of them, like compositionally it changed but conceptually it stayed the same and actually this otter is pretty close to the final thing in terms of shape. So and then next, oh we've got something stuck. Okay, so next we have this lady that I drew obviously just on a scrap bit of paper and it says cute lady in Charing Cross wearing a raincoat. So I saw a nice lady wearing a raincoat <laughs> and decided to draw her. Sometimes like people just stick out in your mind and I like to go home and then have a quick sketch to sort of remind me of them, which may sound a bit weird, but there we go. Uh, there are just a few faces, nothing that interesting there. This I don't particularly like. I did this while on a holiday in France and it's okay, it's fine. The colours are super murky, I hate his hand. I don't know, well actually I quite like the face. If it, like, if I chopped out the face that would be okay but the body for me doesn't work. Um, and then this was me just doodling. And then I've drawn a lady here, so lots and lots of doodles. I love to doodle in my sketchbook. Again, more doodles. <laughs> I quite like the way that these doodles are happening. I kind of do it quite mindlessly and I like to pick a few colours and pencils and then I just sort of go a bit mad, which is how stuff like this happens. And then this is, I don't know where this came from, it wasn't a reference picture or anything, just came straight out of my head. But this is a little boy sitting on a boat um, and then little seals poking up their heads. I think that's quite sweet. And again, this is with Prismacolors and uh, Pro Markers. So I've got a post-it note um, of, I guess the sort of negative space face. So there we go. And then this, I recognise that immediately. This is from my Inktober drawings. So this is like a little girl doing a little magic wand trick and a huge rabbit appearing. So yeah, here we go. So these are my initial uh, kind of Inktober sketches before I actually drew them out properly. So this one definitely appears and so do these. In fact, all of these do, so. Yeah. And then this little girl, I really love. I love her proportions, and I've actually written that. Really like her proportions. I think she's super sweet. I haven't done anything with her yet, but really, really like her, which is why I've sort of circled her. And then these are just some more sketches. This was like trying out another style. 
Um, this one, I have no idea what this is, it looks super, super derpy. This is um, Dala from Finding Nemo, don't ask me why. And this is a Little Magician Girl that I had in my Inktober drawing, but more sort of simplified. Mountains! So this is using the same gouache that I spoke about before. And as you can see, it started off as like more of a lilac-y colour, more sort of similar to this and it's turned into sort of blacky purple. So yeah, it's it's odd that it does that, but there we go. But anyway, I was kind of disappointed that it had gone so dark. So what I did was use really bright Prismacolor pencils and decided to draw rain in oranges, blues and yellows. And I think that makes it pop a bit more. I don't really know where this is or what it's for. I just decided to draw some mountains. So I quite like the composition of this page and like this could be a river. And I quite like that I've done like a speech bubble almost with that coming out and then the mountains. I just think there's something really playful about this page and it feels very sketchbook appropriate, I would say. So this is while I was watching Planet Earth. I really love to watch little documentaries with Jack and then draw <laughs> while watching them. So these are some of the things that were in this particular episode. Um, so like this little bird is really cute, picking up leaves, a tree shrew, um, velvet worms, like a little mating dance for a bird, super sweet. Okay, this is for Folktale Week. So again, I tried to sort of map these out and quite a lot of these are pretty similar to the final thing. You can actually see these pictures if you go on my Instagram, at Xanthi Simmons, and then uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to recognize some of these. But like this one, um, originally I did like a little interior of a mushroom, which I think would still be quite cute to explore, um, as opposed to, a little ladybird outside of, I think it was a ladybird? Can't remember, a little bug outside of a mushroom. The dragon is quite a similar composition. Yeah, so that's kind of my brain working with these kinds of prompts. And then here, so again, something that I need to revisit. We went to go and see Mary Poppins on the West End, obviously way before lockdown. <laughs> and um, it was amazing. I loved it so much. And I actually bought one of the umbrellas, um, like sort of novelty umbrellas that you could buy with the lovely parrot head on there. So <laughs> pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but they had amazing sets and I thought it would be fun to try and do like a little homage to the Mary Poppins musical on the West End but I never got round to it because life got in the way. This is an idea that I still want to explore potentially in a video at some point, who knows, uh, but I'll twist this round for you guys to see some of it. So these are, uh, I was about to say foxes but they're not, they're wolves <laughs> and this was supposed to be the story of Little Red Riding Hood and I wondered whether I could put all of the story of Little Red Riding Hood in kind of a comic format within the shape of a wolf. So I know that sounds a bit odd, but I started thinking about how it could work and that was sort of me playing here. And I still want to explore that. I think it could be a fun idea, especially kind of combining that graphic design stage of design and, um, and illustration. So I think that would be a good project to sort of combine the two. And this, as you can see, was me doing some sketches of Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. So we've obviously got the wolf in bed, really happy with this, I think it looks great. And a really cute Little Red Riding Hood and then me trying out some different expressions. I love her expression too. Next, we just have a little girl, nothing too interesting, just, just a little girl. And then we have lots and lots of patterns um, what's this? Loads of fashion pattern people, big page of them. Ah, okay, so I wanted to do a print um, similar to what I was talking about earlier where I have 
kind of the clothes shape in negative space and that's the pattern so I wondered whether I could do lots of them on one sheet with kind of a white background to see what that would look like so I'm sure I'll play with that at some point a lot of these sketchbook kind of concepts haven't really been developed yet so there's lots of ideas in here this was an idea for a story I'm not going to tell you too much about it because I may develop it in the future who knows but this is a unicorn this was me playing with different unicorns um, again more unicorns <laughs> so I really like using negative space and having colors around there so especially with the unicorns they're white so I thought that would be nice to sort of try and do that with this so this hasn't worked out very well but I basically did an orange page and then went in with prisma colors but everything's become a bit murky but I do quite like when you zoom into certain bits you can see almost pinks coming through um, and there's there's something fun about this but there needs more contrast it's almost like I need characters on there or something these I love so <laughs> I'm actually really proud of these and I don't feel like they're the kind of thing that I naturally gravitate towards drawing but this was me putting a load of blobs on the page with Prismacolor uh, not Prismacolor sorry loads of blobs on the page with pro markers and then going in with Prismacolor purple pencils and almost like carving them out so carving out shapes so a bit like this I've decided that it's sort of hollow inside and this is almost like a stone and yeah I really love this page and I think it's a really good exercise to try and get better at shading and to make things look three-dimensional. This was me drawing Jack on the sofa. This one isn't very flattering at all but it was the angle. <laughs> and this is Jack's face kind of in this sort of half realism, half um, my style I suppose so quite happy with this this is all right but not so happy with the face this was a little blob game but with a twist I suppose so instead of me just making the blob into things I sort of drew on top of the blobs the only one that I really like is the plant the house and the tent so this was me playing with collage. I love doing collage in my sketchbook and I do this for the next couple of pages. But this was me trying to draw like a fashion lady walking along. <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of the sort of Saul Bass style or Incredibles uh, sort of concept art style. So just thought that would be fun to do. I really like her. Again, more patterns. So this is just using Prismacolor pencils while doodling, while watching TV. Um, and this, I love. So I absolutely love to use all of my off cuts and then to stick them in and draw shapes on top. And then you get this kind of thing. So it kind of reminds me of the sort of um, energy of a Kandinsky piece or like you know it there's there's definitely movement there which I really love and you can kind of see my brain whirring which is what I really like about this so yeah I love this piece I think there's something really fun about it these are some pots so these are Greek pots um, that I found on I think it was the British Museum website and I just decided to draw them. So again, it was me doing the shapes in a Prismacolor, um, not Prismacolor, keep getting them mixed up, in a Pro Marker, uh, orange Pro Marker, and then going back in with a black Prismacolor pencil and making the shapes. So I really, really, really love how these have turned out. I'm really proud of these. So at my work, I found a Vogue magazine that was free so I decided to take it home and then draw some of the um, models in there so this is um, a coat by Izzy Miyaki 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 not entirely sure but this was me like sort of 
drafting it out and then doing a final piece. I actually quite like how loose these are. I feel there's something a bit too wooden about this, but I do quite like it still. And then this was me taking different Vogue spreads and drawing them. <laughs> so I'm quite happy actually with the way that these have turned out. They're just like little thumbnails, but I'm quite proud of them. And again, it's kind of out of my comfort zone. I normally just draw in my style. I don't draw kind of within the realms of realism. So this is a good exercise for me. I'd highly recommend it if you don't do that and you kind of struggle with bettering your art in that way as well. Again, more paper cutouts, same kind of thing. And then <laughs> we have a lady swinging along the trees in some nice lingerie. Don't really know why, don't ask me why, because I don't know. Um, but she's doing that and she's happy about it. So, and she's like, curvilicious. <laughs> this is an idea that I'm still developing. I'm making a little zine about this rock man, um, or just this rock. So I won't go too much into it because I want that to be a surprise when I finally sort of do the zine. But yeah, I'm sort of playing with scale here. And this was me doing like a little cutout to see what that would look like. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go into this too much. And then this was for um, the World Book Day little picture that I did which is also up on Instagram and I also posted a video showing the process of this so this was me like sketching out little children super super rough these took me about five minutes each not too long at all and then I thought I'd play with some different books I really like the way I've written books there actually and uh, some of these books are super cheeky like look at these <laughs> so this one I've drawn a duck and I've put duck duck goose I don't really know why um, and this was testing out highlighters because it kept running out of ink and then I just wanted to play with them because why not and this says frogs I don't really know why so this lady I drew on a train I was on the way back from um, like a work trip so I decided to draw this funky woman. She's almost like a mer woman, I think. I'm not entirely sure what she is, but I really like this hair sort of maze thing I've done. And then this is Mary Poppins again. So this was like a bit of paper that I had left over from a costume. And then I decided to chop it out and make windows and then drew a little Mary Poppins. And these, <laughs> This is one of my favourite spreads of the whole sketchbook, I think, but these are fortune telling frogs. Of course they are, of course they are. Um, so I started off drawing this little guy and I thought he'd make a really cute sticker, so I went sticker shape and then started playing with what would it look like with like a lady frog doing this and thought they looked quite scary. So then started drawing this um, and doing some little cutouts with crystal balls. So, yep, that's my thought process. <laughs> and this was something that I sent to my mum when she was having a bit of a rubbish time. So this was during the start of all of the lockdown um, and my mum's a nurse. So I sent this to my mum, said, love you more than the world loves toilet roll. So very nice, but I stuck that in my sketchbook so I thought it was quite cute. These are playing with shapes as you can see <laughs> and patterns so again these are kind of doodle exercises that I leave for myself during films and things like that so I decided to do a few block shapes and then I've just doodled these over different times um, but these have been like while I'm watching TV or on the phone or something like that so this was from an old sketchbook again um, but I just stuck it in because I quite like the way that I've done these and I actually need to update the family portraits that I've done for my family because I haven't updated them in about three years so oops. These are little cats so I thought I'd do little sort of black splodges and then give them eyes and then uh, go from there. I really like this one. I think he's super cute. 
I think they're really sweet. And my cat at home, Indy, he is black and fluffy. So I think that was definitely based on him. And then we're coming to the very end. So here are some little bugs. Um, again, I have a story attached to these, but I haven't, well, I kind of have something in development, but I'm not gonna tell you like a huge amount about them, but these are some bugs. And these are lizards, because I really like lizards. <laughs> So this is a more realistic style, this is sort of a midway between the two, and this is my style. So there you go, little lizards. And finally, okay, so this, I was watching a restoration program um, on the BBC, and they had a Victorian peep show, which was absolutely amazing, and it just blew my mind. I'd never seen anything quite like it. So the way it works is you have your image and you sort of put your eye at the top and you can see inward and you see a full image whereas a bit like in Disney um, when they initially did like the hand-drawn animation they had different cells with things in front and behind which is how they could move things so with this they have lots of sections almost like an accordion and then um, different different cut out and illustrated parts of it so then you can kind of see a full image and when you look in certain angles you can see different parts of the image it just blew my mind I thought it was so cool I'd love to try and make a simple one at some point um, and then we've just got some post-its nothing that interesting what's this okay here are all of my little swatches <laughs> um, this was playing with something for our wedding and I don't have anything in there, I don't think, no. And yeah, that, my friends, is my sketchbook. Oh, God, what a trip. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this and subscribe. I usually make studio vlogs, so I kind of show you the process of drawing in here or doing some final pieces and kind of show you the process behind my work. So if that sounds interesting, then definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I upload every Wednesday. Cool, thank you so much. And I will see you really, really soon. Bye.